you have small boobs, for example, and that small boob has been giving you want to have bigger boobs, and you can have bigger boobs. Get it now. I have a question to ask you, and uh, on a scale of one to ten, how secure are you about your body? How secure? Like, are you like ten over ten? I'm like business, or you're like two over ten? Hi guys, welcome to Kayla Uncensored, and um, today I have a very interesting topic I want to talk about. I'm not doing beauty, even though I think I look cute. Um, but I want to talk about physical body insecurities, and I feel like it is something that a lot of women are dealing with. My backpack on the floor. A lot of women are dealing with in terms of how they feel about their body. Do you know what I mean? You know, so. I want to talk about it because I feel like power just came out. <laughs> I feel like it's something that a lot of women. <clears throat> Hold up. Ugh. Maybe I need some watermelon. I guess that helps. All right, so I'm talking about physical body insecurities. I feel like a lot of women are dealing with you know feeling insecure about their bodies especially in the beauty industry there's so much pressure on you as a woman to be a certain standard and this is why i have a voice and this is why we have a voices and a lot of women are speaking up and saying there shouldn't be any standards for beauty what is insecurity insecurity and i'm talking about you know just insecurity just basically not being confident about uh certain parts or features or something about yourself it makes you have absolutely no confidence in yourself you don't feel like you can relate with people and all that stuff there are so many reasons why people are not confident about themselves and um, people express their insecurities in two different ways well in many ways but I've narrowed it down to two ways that I see that's very common now okay so the first one is uh, those who have insecurities but they don't want to do anything about it you're insecure about your body but you don't want to do about anything about it because you know maybe as a child you have been oppressed maybe you've been bullied maybe your boyfriend that you dated had, had told you that you're not beautiful nobody can you know all those things that make you feel insecure even among siblings there's something that happened to me when i was young one of my aunts she used to say stuff like um ah, where did i fall from because i look like my dad's sister i don't look like my well now i look like my sister and my brother but when i was much younger i looked so much like well i think i still look like my dad's sister. Oh, okay let me not confuse myself but I didn't really look like them. I was, there was a little darker one. My sister and my brother were light, and they kind of had like the same features. And they say, "Where did you drop from?" Oh, ah! So people would come and say, "Ah, I remember we went somewhere when I was a child." I never remember anything. This is Kayla. This is this is good. You never remember anything. But I remember as a child, one lady was like, "It was so much." She was like, "Ah, ah!" You, she was she was praising my sister. Like my sister is so beautiful. My sister is so beautiful. She was like, "Where did you fall from?" I don't know how secure I am today, but I'm grateful for my mom because my mom, I think I remember my mom telling her, you don't say that. Don't say that to my child. Like, I think my mom addressed it. So, you know, there are many reasons why you could feel insecure, like things people might have said to you. Uh, so when you get to that, you now get to that level where you don't care, where you're like, you know what, whatever. Like, I'm not even that great. You know, I don't feel great about myself anymore. So why am I even bothering to do anything about my body? The other ones are... The ones who have insecurities, you know you have these insecurities, but you want to do something about it. Like you want to see a change. You want to do something about the insecurity that you feel. That is another type of insecurity. Oh, let me expand it a little bit. So the insecurity, yeah, like I said, you want to do something about it. So say you are overweight and your weight is making you not feel beautiful or not feel good about yourself. Um, you want to do something about it. Maybe shed a few pounds because there are some people that are just naturally big. You know, like in my family, weight runs in my mom's family. Like they, they are big in my mom's family. So it's not a thing of oh my goodness, I want to be like my mom has never been skinny, but she had always been a plus size. And when she needed to take down her weight to a certain level, she took it down. My mom is a size fourteen now. So I have three tips for you, very easy tips, and I hope that these tips can help you feel more secure about yourself. Okay, so let's start with tip one. One, self love. Just knowing that God did not make any mistake creating you. Like, you can't... Ah, ah, ah. Our God, he's, he's, he's the ultimate. He created you in his own image and likeness, okay? But here's the trick. God created all things beautiful. 
But do you know that God also gave us feelings? He gave us the right to express how we feel. I don't think you have gone out of line if you feel insecure about certain things. You have small boobs, for example. And that small boob has been giving... You want to have bigger boobs. And you can have bigger boobs. Get it now. Look for a secure way. There are good doctors everywhere. Get a bigger boob. But I'm not telling you to move from size 30 to size, size, size 30 to size 40 DD. You know, it's a very tricky thing, oh, because now so and people are gonna kill me and say, Kayla, how can you be encouraging people to go and do so? No. There is a thin line between doing something that makes you feel at least a bit better about yourself. That's why you can enhance, you know, what God has given you. That's why we have makeup, we have cosmetic surgery, we have the things that can make you feel better about yourself. Listen, if you don't feel confident about, about something, do something about it, but I don't want to lose focus. Uh, even the most confident people that I know have insecurities that they deal with. They have things that they don't feel confident about that they want to work on themselves. Yes, even the most confident people, uh, they have that. So um, that's why I'm using my voice to speak up and you know, let, let people know that as I am confident that I have things that I'm, I'm, I'm insecure about. And that don't make me a bad person. It just makes me human. Okay, so back to self-love. Write down five things that you love about yourself physically. Okay, five things, five. No matter if you're, so if you're watching this channel, maybe some of you might be fairly, you know, like me. I'm almost there. I don't have anything that I'm really worried about, to be honest. And there are some people who are watching this video and they are at their lowest. Like they have nothing that they're secure about. I'm speaking to you that you have nothing that you feel is beautiful about yourself but you must have heard at least somehow or look at the mirror and look at something that you like or something that you would have hoped that you wanted write down five things that you like about yourself physically now write down five things that are non-physical that you like about yourself write down those things when you write them down on a piece of paper go on your knees and thank god for those things just be thanking god is it your legs some people don't have legs is it your hand some people don't have hands is it your eyes? Some people, some people have eyes they can't see. Do you know what I mean? So thank God for those things that, you know, you are grateful for about your body. Just be thanking God for those things. Tip number two. List out all the things that you're insecure about. Okay, we've talked about the things that you're secure, that you feel good about yourself, that you're proud of yourself. The things that you're insecure about, write them down. Mm -hmm. Now, this is where the thing is. Fix it. <laughs> You're fat, you're overweight, fix it. Start eating right. Start exercising. You know, start looking for how to shed the pounds. Start looking for ways that you can cut down the pounds. If you if you are on in a, at a level where you probably need to undergo surgery, do your research. Speak to the right people. Don't just go and cut corners and say, eh, my, I want to just do it anyhow, and then somebody will do nonsense on your body. Do your research. If I take, if I go in for a surgery, do I need to still exercise? Because they go hand in hand. If you like, go to Dr. Laser. Uh, guys, slash your body. Shout out to Dr. Ayo. Slash your body. If you're not working out, keep it. You lose all the things that you're doing. But let me tell you, if you, if you, if you take that step to do what makes you feel good about yourself, it will boost your self confidence, and that's the reality. Self love is good. But there are other ways that you need to do some physical things to make you feel good about yourself. About you. I met a lady one time. She's like, Kayla, your ass is... Uh, I mean, I want an ass like yours. She can have it. Now you can pay for it. So get it. Just use the right surgeon. Go to the right procedure. You had a baby. Your tummy. You're feeling insecure about your tummy. You feel like you know you need to do something about it. You've exercised. Uh -uh, loose skin. All those things. I've heard so many things. Sort it out. Go ahead and fix it. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I met a lady one time. She's like, Kayla, your ass is. Uh, I mean, I want an ass like yours. She can have it. Now you can pay for it. So get it. Just use the right surgeon go to the right procedure you had a baby your tummy you're feeling insecure about your tummy you feel like you know you need to do something about it you've exercised uh -uh, loose skin all those things i've heard so many things sort it out go ahead and fix it 
Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Surround yourself around positive and genuine people. People that love you. People that care for you. People that, people that will tell you the truth. You know, they can tell you, okay, okay, these things are bothering you. They can talk you out of it. And if they can't, they can encourage you and follow you and say, okay, let's help you. Let's take you to where, you know, go somewhere that you can, they can, you can feel better. They can enroll you in the program. They can, they can buy you makeup. They can teach you how to do your makeup. You know, those are the kind of people that you need around you. Because let me tell you something. If you're not happy, because ultimately you have to be happy. Your happiness counts. What's the essence if you're not happy? Uh, you see somebody that is slain and taking care of themselves and you're just there saying, uh, I appreciate myself the way I am, but I wish I could do something. Do something about it, okay? And I think with these few points of mine, I've been able to convince you and I hope I've not, been, I've not confused you because you know I'm all over the place. But essentially, I'm just trying to tell you, do these things and you get to see how you feel about yourself. You know, I hope that you feel better about yourself. Thank you so much for watching this channel and this video. Please like uh, and subscribe to my channel. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you so much and I will see you in my next video. Back to my watermelon. Mm -hmm. Standing in front of the mirror, I say, drunk in love.